we've been loving to watch shoe collections we kind of built our own collection so we decided why not show ours we have a lot of shoes but disclaimer it's between both of us it's both of our shoes and also i work at a shoe store so you can put two and two yeah, together that discount so we're very excited to show you guys our shoe collection the majority of the shoes that we have are nikes so i say we should start with the nikes and get those out of the way we had to start off with the most basic shoe these bad boys right here nike air force ones i just feel like you have to have these in your collection like they literally go with every single outfit and out of all the shoes we're about to show you i still end up wearing these every single day next shoes we have tell them i know nothing about shoes. <laughs> these are the nike 97s these are beautiful i actually have another pair just like these but i think the all white are also good to wear because again you can wear white with everything all right, and since I already show <laughs> since I showed you guys the white pair, I'm gonna show you guys the colorful pair I have. So these are also the Nike Air Max 97. This is a part of the Happy No Have a Nike Day collection, and I think these were so cute. They kind of remind me of like Easter. Vintage. No. Oh yeah, <laughs> Easter. That's what I was gonna say. Easter just passed, so these are perfect for that. Yeah, but I just think they're super cute and they're more like pastel colors. Alrighty, so the next pair of the shoes are these bad boys. Yes, white again. I know I have a problem and my coworkers always yell at me for only wearing white shoes. But white goes with everything. I'm trying to get better. But these are the 270s. They're so, so nice. I never owned a pair. This is actually my first pair. I still my mom's all the time. Hers are black and white. But I knew when I got myself some, I just had to get the white because they're too nice. Look at that. Alright, so the next pair is going to be the Nike Cortez. These are classics. Black and white though, you can never go wrong with these. So she came home and she showed me these shoes and I never would have thought that she would have got them from Ross. They're also Nike Air Force Ones, but they're like in this like reflective camo silver color. I don't know, it's really cool. I don't know if they're real. I mean, they're from Ross. A lot of things are real, but I've never seen this before. I've had them for a long time, more than one time, but you know, maybe <laughs> I could bring them back. The next pair is going to be these beautiful babies. I don't know if it shows up true to color on the camera, but they're like a really pretty pink. These are the Nike Air Max Pluses. I don't know, I just, when I saw them, even though they weren't really my size or half a size too small, I just had to buy them because they were really cute. I like the color. It also has a cute little Nike logo on the little end parts of the laces that no one knows what they're called, but... Candice knows what they're called, so go back to Phineas and Ferns. Overall, these are super cute. I bought them a while back for Valentine's Day because of the cute little hard detailing. And yes, every girl has a little tomboy side, so we all need our Jordans. These are our first pair. These are cute, classic black and white with the little gold. Of gold. They're kind of scary to wear because this material is so easy to scratch. So every time I wear them, I kind of walk like I have a stick on my butt so I don't crease them or anything. But, you know, these are really cute. Our next pair are a low top pair of Jordans. Yeah, they're green, so they don't go with a lot, a lot. But with a cute oversized black t-shirt or some jeans in the t-shirt, these are really cute pop of color. This is actually our first pair of Jordans that we've gotten in a while. The last pair were pink high top Jordans in elementary school. Not cute. So it's been a minute. If you don't know what to wear on St. Patrick's Day, you can just throw these on and ain't nobody gonna be pinching you. <laughs> that joke, man. <laughs> So that was it for our Nikes. Next, we're gonna show you our Adidas. We only have like two pairs. These are the Adidas XPLRs. These are so nice. Again, I know white. I have a problem. I already admitted to it. The next pair is these Adidas. They're super cute. These are their Stan Smiths or Super Stans. Not really sure what people call them. But these are the red version. So we're debating between the green and the red pair. But we had bought these the same day that we bought our. Green, green Jordans. Jordans so we're like okay we already have a green pair of shoes let's go for the red and these are really cute even though they have red in the back you could still wear with a lot of things and a lot of our graphic tees have a little bit of red on them so these are cute to just throw on and they're a little pop of color 
next two shoes are pretty similar she had bought these for me and at first i wasn't sure how i felt about them but i literally wore these all the time they're so cute when i put them on with an outfit they literally just pull everything together and i love that they're chunky they make me feel taller i need that because we are five feet and these are super cute as well i don't really reach for them as much but i'm really trying to branch out so i still force myself to buy colored shoes instead of all white so next pair is the cali pumas i wear these so much that they just got beat up so fast so i made them my work shoes but you know what sometimes i go out and i still choose to wear these even though they're super creased and messed up because it's just so cute just plain white pair of shoes you can never go wrong with these so next pair are the classic high top converse these are super cute. I love the shoes with the little red line around them. I remember when I was growing up, I would always get the regular white ones. And I always wanted the one with the little red line. And she bought these not too long ago. And we've already both worn them so much. So we also have them in red. This was actually a gift from my man's for my birthday. And I really love these. I can't wait to wear them. Like I said, we can't really wear them right now. But a girl can dream. Oh, Next, we're going to show you guys our vans. Um, we're going to start off with kind of the more customized vans that we have. They were given to us as gifts and they're so cute. So the first pair was again gifted to me by my boyfriend. They are so adorable. So first it has a picture of me and him. And fun fact right here at the end it says 313. This is actually the month and a date but we got together 2015. So we just recently hit our 5 year anniversary. But yeah, so I definitely like to wear these and I get a lot of compliments. Next, mine were also gifted to me on my birthday by one of my close friends. So these are kind of a customized shoe. He knows pretty much everything that I like and he just threw it all onto a shoe. So they're really cute. Each shoe is different. They both have a little bit of a different pattern. They're kind of hard to pair, but they're super cute. I love them and I'm always afraid to wear them because I'm afraid I'm going to ruin them. But they're just so adorable and it was such a thoughtful gift and I love them. So actually, we didn't used to be van girls at all. We hopped on very late. But we recently got some and we actually wear the heck out of them. Our first pair are those classic bands that everyone got. But they're in a baby pink. You can never go wrong with a cute little blush color. And then the next pair are the same old school Vans. They are mustard color. I went through a phase where I was obsessed with mustard. My room was mustard. So I got mustard Vans. But they're so cute and I actually still wear them a lot. Our next pair are the basic checkered slip-on Vans. But these are cute because they're reflective. They are not reflective. I've tested them. <laughs> oh, they're not? No. These are really cute. They have the checkered pattern, but I like these way more than the black and white one because the checkered is so subtle. It's just two different tones of white. So even if you're wearing any basic outfit, it'll still go with a bunch of outfits and it's super cute. It just adds something small to the shoe. And I really like these. So these next pair are some red and blue box these are still really pretty we don't gravitate towards them a lot just because they're a little harder to match and they're just super simple and classic okay so my next pair has a little bit of a story to them they're these cute steve madden shoes i actually really love these they have a really cute colorway they have the blue the black the gray and the white i gave this to her for christmas probably like two three years ago she finally wore them a year later she realized that one is a size five and one is a size six obviously i cannot walk back into the store a year later with two different size shoes these are still really cute and i still wear them all the time so it is what it is so our next pair is also steve madden but i found these at ross these are really cute platform shoe. These look like worker shoes, but I in really love way. them. Yeah, in a cute way. I think I got these for $17.99. Go to Ross. They have the cutest shoes. They matter for under $20 at Ross. You cannot go wrong I with can't that. get better than that. Mm -hmm. Alright guys, so that was pretty much all of our shoes, all of our sneakers. Honestly, this little sneaker collection reminded me that I have a lot more shoes than I thought I did and I need to stop wearing the same white shoes every day and really branch out. I hope that if you are deciding that you want shoes, we gave you some ideas of some cute shoes that you can go out and buy. We hope you guys like this video and until next time, we'll see you guys later. Bye! Alright, I'm going to put all these shoes away. So, she gave this to me for Christmas. Probably you like gave them to me for Christmas. Oh yeah, <laughs> I did. So I gave this to her for Christmas about... No, you gave them to me. You oh, gave them no, to I me. Give them to you. I gave them to you. Sorry. <laughs>